Hey everybody. Hey y'all. We uh we got presents in the mail. It's exciting. Yeah. It's the first unboxing for Gertrude. It is the first unboxing. The first unboxing of many? Oh, I'm sure it's gonna be many, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's gonna be Ooh, ooh poppies. <laughs> Lots of them. Well, I gotta give them credit. They packed enough uh, stuff in here. So, do y'all? Can I get it? Oh, that's gonna give it away. <laughs> oh, yeah. How about that? Woo wee. That's half of it. So, so yes, we. We finally got our visor for Gertrude. It showed up. We went to uh, semi-casual. So I'm, I'll tag them, Robert and Brian. They uh, they helped us out, and no, they didn't give it to us, but we did. We did buy it, but they helped us get it. Yeah, they helped us get because they had an account. Yes, and they could buy it. I couldn't buy it. We, we tried. Buy, we buy parts for all of these, but I couldn't buy this. Okay. Anyway. So, yes. We finally. Ooh, come on out of there. Which, those guys are so nice at semi-casual. Yes. If you we'll need. Give them, we'll give them a huge shout out. Yes. If you need anything, they can probably find it for you. Yeah. Look at that. I can't wait to see it on. Yes. I won't say that we'll get to this today to put it on. We have some other things to do with Gertrude, but it's good to know that this showed up. Yes, so. we have it. And it's the exact replica of the one we had, except mine so hopefully I'm not making more holes yeah. in the cab. There's already enough holes. And remind me, I need to order a panel bond so I can Fix. Stop, yeah, stop the holes. In the top of them. Is that everything? I think so. Now, for brackets. Ooh. Do you one? Oh, there's two of them. Okay. I was thinking, I only got one. I had that panic look for just a second. I was like, wait a minute, I only got one bracket, but they're taped together. Okay. We're. Man, that's going to look so sweet on there. Yes. And I'm so glad that we got rid of the old one that had the, the broken. Yeah, the broken <laughs> corners. The broken corners. And all the stickers. Not that I mind stickers on the no, inside. No, no. But they just weren't any stickers that we had an interest in. No, no. So. We're, we're going to slowly make Gertrude ours. Yes. So y'all hang tight. Ooh. We're going to reset here. Yeah, we're going to reset and... We've got to we've gotta do a little maneuvering. <laughs> yeah, I got, some, I got some cars to move because it's raining outside so that we can get Gertrude in here and do a little bit of work. I don't know that we'll get to this today, so don't 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 give me hate for not putting the visor on as soon as I get it. I, I got priority on some other stuff. Yeah, well, we, we need to find the leak. Yes. And yeah. and with it raining, <laughs> it might, we might, might find- Might be an opportune time to find the leak. Yes, I, I get it. Sorry. So y'all hang on, we'll be right back. So today is a glorious day after almost a month. Almost, almost a month? yeah, almost a month. Almost a month. We finally have license plates. These are our temporary plates. We're getting personalized plates for Gertrude. But the, I guess the lesson, hold on. The lesson that everyone should ask. Okay, if you're going to buy a used truck, I don't care if it's you're going to buy a Peterbilt, a Kenworth, I don't care if you're going to buy a Volvo, whatever you're going to buy, if it is a used truck and had someone else's US DOT number on it, there's a question you should ask. And I learned this in most lessons in life, you learn the hard way. <laughs> yeah. 
that's sometimes that's how you learn your best lessons is you learn the hard way. And I learned by being patient for a month and waiting for my license plates because the DOT number to this truck was not in good standing. This truck, the VIN number for this truck, the previous DOT number was marked out of service in the federal motor carrier system. So when we went to buy plates for this truck, you couldn't get plates for this truck because the VIN number was marked out of service due to violations. Now the violation was he took the truck off the road, didn't pay his yearly fee, and because the truck had been for sale for I think nine months or so, yeah, didn't pay the fee and DOT turned off the number. So it wasn't like he had a wreck, wasn't like it had a safety violation, none of that. It was he no longer paid the fees, DOT turned it off, yeah. And when it got turned off, we didn't get plates. Now that was a, and I could, didn't even have to ask a question. I could have went on the website and searched the previous DOT number and found that out. But these are all lessons you learn after, after. the fact. <laughs> yeah. So lesson, let it be learned. Y'all learn from my mistakes that before you go buy a truck, just check the DOT number. Chances are, if you're buying a truck that's running every day, it won't be a problem. But if you're buying a project truck, like <laughs> we did, our little, lovely little Gertrude Our sweet, here, our sweet baby Gertrude. Our, our big girl's all grown up now. <laughs> She's got her own plates. But, uh, so yes, let this be a lesson. If if you are going to buy a project truck or one that hadn't been running the past week, uh, check that DOT number before you buy it. So, not not that I wouldn't have bought the truck. We would have still I bought have, it. <laughs> I would have still bought it, but I would have gotten plates faster. I could have saved myself a lot of headache, waiting, angst. Worry. <laughs> worry. All, all that good stuff, I could have saved myself some. So, just for... Just for helpful information for everybody else, check the DOT numbers. So, guess what? We've got plates. We're going to go for a little ride. Yes, we can go for a ride now. I'm so excited. So, y'all hang with us. We'll put the plates on and we're going to go for a ride. sensor things seem to be oh yeah it seems to be now look at the rig they're doing here look at this wait till we turn in here i want to show you this truck they're going to move this transformer with make sure i can get you a good shot of it here all right i got it can you see that truck i want to get you a good shot of it they're going to move that transformer now that's a rig yeah. Look at all them wheels. 
they're going to build that truck right there to move that transformer. They brought that transformer in probably... Oh, gosh, six months ago. Oh, yeah, probably six months ago they brought that thing in. It was back in the summer. Yeah. Spring, actually. And tell them what that transformer is for. Uh... <laughs> It's, it's a transformer to supply <laughs> power to the weed farm. Yeah, I wasn't going to say it, but... <laughs> they have an indoor pot growing facility. Near us. <laughs> near us, a couple miles on up the road. And that is the transformer. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we got to make a little stop at the Nappers. Pick up some parts. But we were just excited. We got license plates and we could... Oh, we had to take a ride. I could have drove anything down here, but... Oh. So, we picked up our parts. I want to come down here when they when they bring a crane and load all this. I want to just come down here and sit and watch. Goodness gracious. I want to just get me a one of my little bag chairs. <laughs> Sit down here in the shade and just watch him all day. So, we went to the Nappers, and now we're going to try the interstate.
driving along, but they at least ought to be up to 100 because, you know, it's like almost 90 today, so they ought to be doing something. Right. They might not be connected. Well, that's why we need to check them. may not be connected or working the sensors may be bad yeah. nurturing gets the lungs i don't think my speed number is right why so we found out some very important information speed number is not correct right now we're actually doing 70 or 71 even though it says 65 or 64, so good, good tip to know we're really doing 70. It doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't feel like it, but GPS doesn't lie. Well, the cobwebs oh, in the look floor. The yeah, can you see the cobwebs? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know yet. When the sun shines on them, you really see them. Yeah, the water. Well, there's a little bit of water here. Can you see the water at my feet? Yeah, a little bit. I can see the ground. What? Ah! Alright. I can't help you because I can't see. This is a bad spot to see. Very bad. In a truck that you can't see out of. Yeah. Nothing coming. But generally, it's a very slow intersection. Oh, yeah.
back roads we want to take this on. Well, we can take this ride because they'll be turning on the side here. Oh, yeah. And like out front, those all, those all green ones will be turned. But I don't know, do you think the leaves will actually be pretty this year? We've had a lot of rain. Yeah. Depends on when that first frost comes. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank, Thank you, you for today. today.